Hello again. Welcome back to our Slice of Pie page where we learn English every day. Uh, today we're learning study tips. Study tips where you can use these tips for any um, lesson. So a lot of students try to just bulk learn. Like, bam, 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 I'm just going to go page one, page one, page one, page one. But of course, there's tips or techniques or some people call life hacks to learn quicker. So today, last time, of course, we did about gum and why baseball players use gum. For example, why you should use gum to remember our difficult facts. Today will be about meditating. Next week, we'll talk about cursive. Cursive writing uh, will be in the next lesson. But today, meditating. So, of course, if you've never meditated, uh, myself, yeah, it's hard for me to meditate. But uh, it's useful. For example, even when I was in school, when I was in uh, getting my MBA in uh, California, in America, one time even our professor, our psychology professor, he made us meditate for half the class. The class is usually three hours. So we meditate for like 90 minutes. We listen to whale music. So I talked to earlier in less, let's see, study tip number 20, why you should listen to music while you study. So we actually listen to whale sounds. So of course, like I said in that video in number 20, that you should have music without lyrics, without words. So we listen to whale sounds and we lay it on the floor and we actually meditated. Maybe a few of my classmates <laughs> went to sleep, but we were surprised but without telling us why. He didn't tell his wife first, we just did it. And it calmed us down, it calmed our mind down, and it helped us focus on the second part of the lesson, which was really tough. It was a tough day that day. And he was teaching us how to calm our minds to focus on one task. A lot of people try to multitask, me too. I love to multitask. I want to do this, 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 this. But when you have five things, of course, they each get only 20% of your attention. So, of course, you have to learn how to sometimes focus on one action at one time is what meditation does for you. So it allows you to focus on the one thing instead of uh, instead of our cultural attention, especially with technology, with our phones and machines and everything and beeping and, and buzzing and things turning on, alarm clocks and boo, all this stuff. It'll teach you, okay, I need to focus just on my thoughts. So, and just think only your thoughts. So it's easier than you think. I've, I've been hypnotized before and hypnotized is kind of like the one step from meditation. <laughs> The first part of hypnotism, but it basically just calms your mind. You basically just try to eliminate thoughts from your head. So it helps. So it helps for, of course, to focus on one action, but it also helps you to calm down and helps you to relax. All these things help you to learn more information and quicker. So, of course, uh, please try to meditate. I think, uh, what is it, Seinfeld? I think Seinfeld meditates every day. He, he Transcendental Meditation, you might have heard of, TMM. Twice a day, they recommend morning and night. I think he does only once a day, maybe in the afternoon. But when he was making Seinfeld especially, he meditated every day because he was writing those and uh, producing those and acting them. So every day he, he meditated to calm his mind so he could focus on the next task. So it's uh, very useful to refresh your batteries, to recharge you. So okay, please do it. So again, last time was about gum and why that's important. Today was about meditating. Why should meditate? Ah, that's right. Sorry, before I leave you, I wanted to show this app. Uh, now, I think you have to have a paywall to use it, but there's an app you might find in your country. There might be an app that's free, but of course you can see here Headspace. And if you click on it, uh, Headspace, it looks like this character. Uh, I'm not a member anymore, so it's not going to come up for me. But yes, it's a great app where you can meditate. If it's difficult for you to meditate by yourself, you can meditate with people around the world and they'll join in. They have different focus meditations, different purposes for your meditation, different music, different vo You can pick a girl's voice or a man's voice, a, a female or, or male voice. But anyway, it's useful if you need technological help. It's a weird action, but he used to be, the guy who started it, I think, was studying to be a monk in India. And uh, he later realized, well, I could help more people with technology. It's weird to think that way, but yeah, uh, you can use this to actually help you meditate. So, okay, so next week we will, our next lesson with these study tips, we'll talk about cursive writing, why it's important. Even if your country doesn't have cursive, of course, English, uh, sorry, like this, our English we have cursive, but why is cursive writing help you study? Okay, thank you very much, and I'll see you in tomorrow's lesson. See you.